Welcome, aviation enthusiasts, history buffs, and curious minds to our channel. Today, we embark on a thrilling journey through the evolution of one of the most pivotal inventions in the history of warfare, the helicopter. From its humble beginnings to the menacing sky warriors of today, we will delve into the fascinating transformation of these flying machines. In this episode, we will be paying special attention to the AH-1Z Viper, a modern marvel of aeronautical engineering. As we navigate through our journey, we will explore the features that make this helicopter a formidable presence in the battlefield, and how it stacks up against some of its biggest competitors. So buckle up, and prepare for takeoff as we soar through the history of these awe-inspiring machines, and get a glimpse into the future of aerial warfare. Let's dive right in. On September 14, 1939, history was forever changed as the very first true helicopter, the Vought-Sikorsky VS-300, soared across the blue American skies. The military community was left in awe, sparking a surge of innovation that would lead to the design of many modern helicopters we see today. The helicopter's narrative is a tale of continuous evolution, moving beyond its initial role as a simple tool for transportation and logistics. In today's time, helicopters are a pivotal part of the battlefield, excelling especially in tasks related to fire support and anti-tank operations. Take for instance the AH-1Z Viper from the United States, a fearsome beast renowned for its tank hunting abilities. This helicopter is one of the most advanced and menacing airborne threats worldwide. Having been the subject of numerous enhancements to meet the needs of modern warfare, the AH-1Z Viper stands apart. It carries a variety of weaponry and military gear, boasting updated fire control systems and cutting-edge digital technology. What sets it apart is its powerful engine, swift speed, and remarkable operational range. It is capable of engaging a wide array of threats from ground-based to airborne targets. The helicopter comes equipped with the latest technology, fire control systems, thermal sensors, laser designators, and user-friendly information displays for the crew. A noteworthy feature of the AH-1Z is the specialized pilot's helmet, designed to aid in swift decision-making and amplify performance on the battlefield. Undeniably, the AH-1Z Viper is one of the most formidable attack helicopters in the world. However, the world of attack helicopters is a competitive one, with fierce rivals such as the Russian K-52, another powerful tank hunter. Both variants allow for the installation of dual pods, each capable of housing six SATCOM ATAC missiles. These employ the advanced 9M120 Ataka guided missile system, boasting a variety of warhead types tailored for diverse target objectives. While the standard ATAC missile has a reach of up to 6 kilometers, there exists an enhanced version, able to strike targets as far as 10 kilometers away. This is made possible through the use of a laser beam projected from the helicopter itself. The assortment of warheads available for these missiles is impressive, featuring tandem warheads that can penetrate a minimum of 800 mm of steel armor. In addition, there are thermobaric and high-explosive fragmentation warheads on offer. The K-52 is also outfitted with the formidable 9K-121 Vicar anti-tank missile, along with its superior variants. These supersonic anti-tank missiles have a daytime range of up to 10 kilometers and a nighttime range of 6 kilometers, again guided by a laser beam from the helicopter. The Vicar missiles stand their ground when compared to the Hellfire missiles employed by the AH-1Z Viper, proving to be a formidable opponent. The K-52 and AH-1Z Viper helicopters are closely matched in terms of capabilities and armament, with each showcasing its unique strengths and weaknesses. It's a tough task to decide which helicopter has the edge, given their individual configurations and and weapon systems designed to meet specific operational needs. Yet the K-52, hailing from Russia, boasts unique features like its coaxial rotor design, enhancing both maneuverability and landing stability. This makes it an ideal choice for naval operations, even in rough sea conditions. The K-52 even holds a spot in the Guinness World Records as the top helicopter worldwide. However, it's essential to remember that both helicopters are designed for specific roles and excel in their respective missions. The choice between the two helicopters depends on the unique operational requirements and capabilities of the military force deploying them. Occasionally, as witnessed with the Republic of Czech's procurement, considerations extend beyond just the technical capabilities of the helicopters. Despite various accounts, the armed forces of this nation, including the Air Force, allegedly used the AH-1Z in aid of the Taliban's overtake of the Panjshir Valley, 
the enduring bastion of the Afghan National Resistance Front. Such actions purportedly led to the downfall of the Panjshir Valley, an area previously resilient to Taliban offensives, all within the span of a single night. Many suggest that on the eve of September 5, 2021, Pakistani combat helicopters incessantly struck and obliterated the defensive fortifications of the Afghan National Resistance Front. This left the Panjshir Valley defenseless, allowing the Taliban an unopposed entry. The role of the AH-1Z Viper in this scenario remains ambiguous. However, what is clear is the light attack helicopter, a product of the United States, has caught the attention of military aficionados due to its superior enhancements. Yet, as is the case with all things, strengths may also prove to be false, for no weapon is flawless. I welcome your thoughts and insights regarding potential vulnerabilities in the AH-1Z Viper attack helicopter. Do express your thoughts in the comments section and don't hesitate to propose topics for our forthcoming military analysis videos.